As part of Archery Talk's 2017 target bow project, I had pro shooter Tim Gillingham watch me shoot the Bowtech Fanatic 3.0 and offer up some advice to hopefully make me a better and more consistent archer. Hey Lucas, I was watching you shooting in there and, and a couple things that I might bring to your attention is, do, do you ever experience left and rights a lot? I kind of experience all of it, left okay. and rights and mostly up and downs. There's just a couple things I, I could see in your form maybe that, and setup that you might consider changing. Uh, first of all, one of the times if I run into a guy that has some tuning problems with bows, especially a left hair tuning problem, one of the first things I look at is their anchor point. Okay, what is the arrow doing? And I noticed that your arrow was kind of touching your chin here. So I try to teach, and, and one of the guys I like to really get, you know, tell people to go look at is Jesse Broadwater. His anchor point, the string is here. With me, I've kind of mimicked that. Strings in front of the face. Okay, your string's kind of back here, which puts the knock up against the side of your chin. Now, it's okay if you can duplicate it 100% of the time. That can be very difficult though. So if you're experiencing left and rights, I would look there. Um, what you can do is shorten the draw length of the bow slightly, lengthen your loop, and that'll correct some of that issue. So sometimes you can drop your, put your peep higher and drop your anchor point a little bit too. Another thing that can kind of affect a lot of left and rights is your grip. You know, your grip looked pretty unique. And one thing I like to teach people on the grip is, is your, your grip was more around the bow like this and kind of it looks to me like you're touching on your bottom fingers. I normally try to teach guys, and this depends whether you want a high wrist or a low wrist, but you, the main thing about a grip is you have to be repeatable. So a lot of times, I, this particular bow I haven't spent a lot of time with, I don't have it on here yet, but I normally will put a, a little indicator dot on the front of the riser for my index finger, or if you like to do it with your, your ring finger or whatever. But that helps you set your wrist position, especially when you're using grip tape. I don't use grip tape and I actually use a glove so that my hand slides into the grip torque free. Um, a lot of people use grip tape. I mean, I like to feel a grip tape, I just don't shoot it as well. Okay, and it's very important when you put your hand in with grip tape that you set that pressure left and right dead the same. And so by doing it here and putting your finger on an indicator, it, it's gonna help with that and help you set those pressures and alignments up that'll keep those left and rights from happening.